you're moving, you're moving away from a from going to get a big bad beat from a, from a secular producer to actually producing a track yourself. Why? Um, for me, I, I'll come, I'll, to be fair, I've come a long way from spitting from the first project that I did, which was sincere, with you guys, and that was on a secular beat. Yeah. You know, so t- for me personally, I, I, I enjoy music. I love music. I, I, it's like I feel music. So I, I genuinely wanted to get into the habit of producing it myself, just so I can um, have the fun of doing it. Um, I think it, obviously, if if you, especially if you write as well, it's always going to be per- something personal to you in it. So <coughs> anything that you write is going you you're going to want to fit that around something to go on, like um, a beat. So. Um, with the freedom of me doing, like me produ- producing as well and writing, it's like I can, I have the freedom to do anything that I want. I can put it together exactly how I want it. Now, now I've got my whole heart behind it as well. It's not just okay. Knox had his own thing. I mean, I'm, I'm, like, he, he, I don't know why he was inspired by whatever, but he made those beats for whatever purpose. And then I kind of like, it's like. Kind of like, it's like kind of like halfway. It's like he's done his thing, and I've done my thing. It's like yeah, it's a it's two not, different stories. Yeah, it, although they were really, I, I think they're really good tracks. Although they're really, really good tracks, it's like um, it's not fully what I wanted. I say it's not. It wasn't a good outcome, but you know what I mean. Me doing it myself. You know what it was. It's, it's, it's everything that I want it to be. Yeah, I think like come off what you just said there, like. You guys know, I will jump on any beat, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He really will. I'll, I'll have a look for it. Go, <laughs> go. Yeah, oh, right, I'll be sitting there, you know. Yo, I've done it, right, let's go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to my own stuff, like, I've had to learn to appreciate other people's gifts and talents, like, right, yeah. because it's a very personal process. I'm, I'm completely opposite. I always produce my own stuff. Like, I started off like, it was just totally me. Every beat was done by me, whatever. And then on TBC, when I asked, for real, for yeah, yeah. he was like, yeah, I've got about like, four or five. And it was really, if I've been real, it's because I didn't have any other ideas. So like, okay, cool. <laughs> and what was like, <laughs> that's it. And the <laughs> truth shall set you free. What <laughs> <laughs> was like, yo, you need one more chat. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm tired, like, creatively, I couldn't hear nothing. Mm. And then I was listening through, and it's almost like, listening to what he did on, on Invisible, it pushed me Mate. to go somewhere I'd never been before. I was to that so now, when I'm approaching my own stuff, I'm thinking now that that idea that I can feed her, you know, and then listening to cool stuff like cleaners, I will take his whole Mac. I will have two mixtapes. You know? But like, when I hear this stuff, I think, oh yeah. And also, what we don't like to talk about in church, but I love it, is competition. Like, mm. especially in the hip hop culture, it's all about Don't do people going it. to it. Yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, obviously, it's got to keep it, you know, keep it clean, keep it clean. Yeah. But like, when I hear cooking stuff, I'm like, yo, <laughs> I wanna, I wanna do that. I, I wanna make a chat like that. Do you know what I mean? And so I go into my hub and I'm creating stuff and I put it out there. And he hears it and goes, oh, yo, what did that bass like? Okay, like, oh, cool, cool. Right, and it's and together we kind of develop this craft and it's a spirit of excellence. Yeah. It's a form of life.